The new Ping 2023 putters are here and they provide technology that you can feel in 11 different models. Today, Thomas and I are gonna test them out and tell you everything you need to know in this episode of The Swing Report. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf and I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We are at the Minnetonka Tour van today with some new putters from Ping, the 2023 putter line. Uh, always exciting when Ping releases those new putters and especially this one. Uh, it's kind of, you know, the 2021 line was very interesting. They offered that kind of softer kind of insert on the face, right? Yep. And this one has a mix of, of materials on the face. They've got the shallow milled uh, design, but they've also got the P-Bax insert and then even the Tomcat 14 model has its own unique face as well. So they're offering a lot of variety here to really try to, I guess, answer that call for every golfer out there. Yeah, I mean, there's four different face technologies yeah. with 11 different putters. Mm -hmm. So your options here to custom fit a golfer into whether they need more ball speed off the club face or a softer feel mm -hmm. for on the greens are endless. So you, yeah. you get 11 options and you're able to fit the golfer really well. Right, and Ping's always been a leader in, in club fitting. Um, and that goes from putter up to driver and everywhere in between. And so um, what they do is they kind of offer basically three different categories for stroke types for their putters, right? So they have their straight, uh, their slight and strong arc uh, putter models. And there is multiple options for each stroke type here. Uh, and then of course we talked about different face inserts and then also we have anywhere from a, you know, the answer that kind of classic blade design all the way up to that massive Tomcat 14 mallet that's gonna offer the highest MOI. So you have, anything that you really would look for in a, in a putter. I mean, every golfer need, has what they need in this, in this series here. Yeah, and the nice thing that comes with those larger mallets is you know, you've got your alignment lines. Mm -hmm. So yep. it's easy to line the ball up straighter. Some people like to have the lines to help them line the ball up. Some people don't like the lines. They're more, maybe more linear versus non-linear. Right. Um, so it's great to have those options as well. Yeah, so there are 11 models total. Now there's actually one model, the DS72, that comes in kind of three variations. Uh, so there's really nine head types, but 11 total models. So uh, to list them off here, we have the Answer, the Answer 2D, the Cushion 4, the Shea, the DS72, the DS72C, which is the center shaft of D7, DS72, uh, the DS72 Arm Lock, the Tyne G, the Prime Tyne 4, the Mundy, and then as uh, it wraps up with that Tomcat 14 that we've mentioned uh, a few times, which, um, the highest MOI in the series. And then like you mentioned those eliminates, it has kind of those like almost, uh, you know, airstrip like lights kind of design on the, on the dots on that, on that club head there, which is a very interesting way of alignment, but it seems to have worked in the past with that model. Right, and these putters, they've had success on tour as well. Yeah. You think about Tony Finau, for right. example, the, the Answer 2D model, mm -hmm. he had a lot of input on the design on that model and he went on back-to-back -back weeks. Right. So it must be working well for him and it's probably gonna work well for Everyone else. Right. I mean, he's struggled notoriously with his putting over the years, and yep. then he, lo and behold, he putts well for a couple weeks. He wins two weeks in a row on the PGA Tour. Uh, so that answer 2D model goes back to his input. So uh, for today, for the testing is interesting because um, you know there's we've got these different face variations, and one thing we've noted too is that the Tomcat 14 is an interesting one because Pink tells us there's a slightly uh, a slight increase of ball speed with that model because of the face design and just the, the high MOI behind it um, and an extra head weight at 380 grams. So we're gonna test that out, do a little bit of Quintech testing and also just test the models throughout and then give our feedback on that. So it uh, should be a good one here today, Thomas. Yeah, and generally what I've seen was, so it's a firmer insert. Firmer inserts usually get the ball going a little faster. So mm -hmm. when I'm fitting a golfer, you know, if you're putting on really, really slow greens, a firmer, firmer insert is not a bad option. If you're putting on really, really fast greens all the time, a little softer insert is not a bad thing. So it really depends on whether you have a hard time getting the ball to the hole or you need to work on your speed better. So that's where you got those four different face technologies that can really help you. Sure. And lastly, we'll kind of wrap up with the sort of the, I guess, the specs, right? So each of these putters are at 35 inches in length uh, standard. Uh, besides, of course, this arm lock here is at 41 and a half. Yep. Um, and then each of them kind of come in that, that lie angle listed by ping at 20 degrees or 70 degrees, depending on how you measure. Uh, but uh, that and then the loft at three degrees for all. Um, besides, again, that arm lock is at six degrees. But of course, there is adjustability with each of those settings, whether it's the length, whether it's the lie angle, or whether it's the loft. And that 
goes back to the fitting, um, you know, the importance of fitting with these putters. Yeah, depending on the neck design and how that neck kind of goes into the club head, you, you've got ability to adjust the loft and mm -hmm. the lie pretty sure. well. Yeah. Sure. Well, you want to get testing here, Thomas? Yeah, this will be a fun one to test and see how the bull rolls. All right, so Thomas, we're in the Quintec Bay here at Minnetonka, and we've kind of chosen the Answer 2D and the Tomcat 14 because they kind of represent the, I don't want to say opposites, but the different ends of the spectrum here in terms of the feel and also the look. So you have kind of your, it's a slightly larger than the typical blade, but a blade here at the yep. Answer 2D. And you've got the high MY mallet, and then we talked about those face differences. So with this test, we're also going to see, you know, the the ball speed, right? So Ping claims a Tomcat 14, slightly higher ball speed, um, whereas the p backs insert here on the on the 2D definitely aims more at the consistency factor for it. Yeah, we talk about you know ball speed. Why do why does it give you a little bit more ball speed? One, it's heavier, yeah. so you have a little more mass behind it. When the ball club's coming through, it's going to get that ball to come off a little faster. The insert is also firmer. Mm -hmm. So the, the Tomcat 14 is the firmest insert of all the different models right. we have. While we have the Answer 2D model here, which is one of the softest but more consistent with yeah. regards to ball speed. Yeah. So I want to see this. This is an interesting test. We don't do too much, you know, testing on, right. on ball speed with putters. Maybe we should. This would be right. an interesting one to see how it goes. Right. Another thing too, I actually want maybe you to listen in on as well is just the audio because usually, you know, softer feel, softer face results in you know softer sound and vice versa with the firmer putter. So. Yep. All right, so we're starting here with the, uh, the Answer 2D. Let's just see a few pots here with this one. Mm, All right, in. good roll. So the first pot here at 4.8 miles an hour for impact ball speed. It had a great roll on it too. Great yeah. launch angle, 1.84, forward spin of 48 RPMs. Mm -hmm. That was a good putt. Yeah, and it, it definitely, the first putt just very soft um, feel relative to what I'm used to. I mean, I, I play the, right now, the 2021 hardwood, which is a big mallet, and it has a softer insert, but it still has a firmer feel behind it just because of how you know, big that, that club head is. Yep. So this one felt a little softer initially. Oh, let's see a couple more putts. Right in the middle. All right, once again, 4.84 miles an hour. Okay. Launch angle 151, pretty good numbers there again. That yeah. forward, forward roll, almost the same as the last putt. Right, you like to see that green up there too. Um, I hit, it was felt weird because I almost felt like I hit it a little bit toey, like I want to say maybe not in the center, but a little toe side. But to see the numbers on that, you know, still result in that, it's still pretty good, I think. Yeah, consistency is key. Mm -hmm. All right, pretty good. 4.82, really consistent. Yeah, so that yeah. was what, 4.80, 4.84, and then 4.82. Yeah. Um, and that one was a little bit like almost bottom face, but still it's like every one has been soft enough where like it's not like, you know, I, I don't really feel much in my hands or I feel like I'm a firmer putter and I guess we'll find out here, but you kind of feel that when you maybe miss hit a little bit. Yeah, and your forward, forward spin was between 45 and 54 RPMs on all three of those strokes, which is, which is key, which is mm -hmm. we want consistency, you want that ball to roll the same distance every single right. time. So now with the, the Tomcat, what would you expect to, to change with those numbers? Because I know we talked about ball speed, but anything on the other numbers there? Or? I mean, I'm curious to see the impact ball speed. I mean, we're talking pretty small numbers to start with. So yeah. whether it maybe pushes five miles an hour, that would be interesting to see. Yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see also you, the way that you putt. You know, you've talked about you've, you've liked putting with a, a larger mallet. So yeah. it'd be interesting to see how fast that ball comes off the face, okay. launch angle, forward spin as well. Mm -hmm. And then the consistency as well, because you set the bar high pretty, pretty well there with what, 4.80, 4.84, 4.82. Yeah. That's some pretty consistent numbers. Yeah, yeah, that was not what I expected. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very curious to see on this, this claim from Ping on the ball speed there too. It was a good roll. It looked like it had a little bit more kind of top spin on it. Yeah. 5.0 exactly, actually. Wow. Yeah. It's interesting the launch angle is a touch higher, okay. but you got even more forward spin. Okay. Yeah. So that is where mass comes into play. Yeah. yeah and also the, fa the firmer insert, because mm -hmm. you actually launch that a little higher. Generally, when you see a higher launch angle, 
you're going to see maybe more backspin than forward right. spin. Right, interesting. So even though your launch went up a little higher, your forward spin also okay. went up, so it kind of counteracted hmm. it. So that was good. Yeah, we, we hit five miles an hour, that was pretty good. Interesting that my, the hook spin, I've been at, it seems like at the minus 15, at least, is that at least once with the other putters, and that happened again here. Yeah, um, consistency is key, and you get a pretty consistent putting stroke. That's, that's more the user on that, but uh, yeah. yeah, the good news is that every single time it's around about negative 15. Right. Wow, yeah, that, that one just that seemed like it jumped spin. a little bit. Yeah, it was it was rolling with top spin. Goodness. Right? Yeah, so a little bit more ball speed, and, and it's quite interesting that it's a little more inconsistent. Yeah, as well. So, I think you know, I, Ping claims like the answer two D is a little more consistent on the yeah. on that roll, which I think you're going to get out out of a, a little softer mallet. But once again, you're seeing your launch angle jumped a little bit. Your forward yeah. spin was still good on that one, uh -huh. but yeah, you could see the impact ball speed was was firm. Yeah. So. If you have a problem getting the ball to the hole, a larger mallet is always a good option sure. with a firmer insert. Just, yeah, a little more pop. And I definitely, it seemed like, I was even watching my ball, it just seemed like it, a little more energy. Um, and I don't feel like I, you know, swung the pendulum any faster. Um, but then I also just wanted to comment that the last two putts, firm feel. Like, you can definitely feel the difference between the two. And I don't know if you've caught anything audio-wise, but the feel is very different. Good roll. Yeah, just, I mean, definitely looks like, you know, top spin wise. Yeah. Good. So that's 5.12 miles an hour. Once again, launch angle a little higher. Okay. Which I find quite interesting. You've been hovering just a little over two, but yeah. when you're hitting the other putter, you know, these got the exact same loft on them. Mm -hmm. um, the launch angle was a little lower. Um, however, the forward spin was still pretty good. Right. Yeah. It, that was interesting. I was, I will admit, I was consciously trying to not have hook spin on that putt, which worked, but. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I, I truly don't feel like I'm, you know, changing my putting stroke uh, too much to have the ball speed jump to five. Um, yep. I really don't. And there is, I think, something to be said about the, the firm face plus the extra mass giving you that more ball speed. Again, like you mentioned, a player that might be leaving putts short or having trouble with that, that speed control and, you know, maybe it's putting uphill and you kind of run out of gas sometimes, a firmer feel uh, and or you know the mallet with more mass could, could help you out a little bit. Yeah, absolutely it can help you out and you know generally when I'm in a putter fitting if I'm trying to get a golfer to get more top spin on the ball I go for a heavier putter with a firmer insert. Mm -hmm. If they're smashing it too hard or if they play on greens that are really really fast right. a softer insert maybe not as much mass behind it is going to be a better option. Right well the nice thing about this series is you have the, all the bases covered you got a blade, you got softer uh, face inserts, you got a firmer face. And so we can do a little more testing here. We'll hit various models and then we'll kind of give our final thoughts. Sounds good. I'm interested in getting your feedback now on the four different right. feels here. All right, so Thomas, um, we tested a bunch of models. We also went into Quintech Bay and did a little uh, mini test there. So all the 11 models, I think, you know, the big takeaway is, uh, for me, is this the variety that they included in the series and then how you know, there really is that difference, I think, that we saw uh, between, you know, like, for example, the Answer 2D and then the Tomcat 14 that we tested. We did see some differences in those numbers and the tendencies there. Yeah, so we definitely saw the ball roll differences. Um, what about feel? So tell me yeah. how... You know, we've got four different face technologies right. that we kind of put around with a little bit. What what was the difference in the, in the feel with them? Yeah, well, so the firmest is definitely the Tomcat, and I think that's that's been clear already in what Ping told us about the putters. But yep. um, it was it wasn't like an, an extremely um, firm where it's uncomfortable or unpleasant. Um, and then the the soft. I, so I think in general this series is firmer, right? I think even they're softer. Uh, the face inserts with the P backs, and they have you know, the, the shallow surround or, you know, the deep surround, um, they have, it's, it's still firmer than the 2021 series in yep. general, I think, is what I, what I took away from hitting all the putters and the models. Um, so overall, I think they're kind of going, swinging back a little bit from soft feel with 2021 series, a little bit firmer overall with 2023. Yeah, but now we've got options. I think you go mm -hmm. back to other, other previous models, you got your Hepler models mm -hmm. in, the, in the past, and you go back even further to the really, really soft feel-in models. 
Um, mm -hmm. But now, you know, this line has option of either firmer or right. softer, yeah. which is good. And you got the shallow mill for the firmer face. You talked about this one being really fir firm, but also yeah. you've got several other models that also have a fairly firm yeah. um, milled feel to them as well. And then you've got your softer p insert yeah. that's gonna, gonna help with feel on the green, maybe a little more consistency. Um, but definitely, you know, it's not going to come with the faintest face is hot. Yeah, you mentioned. I mean, the, I think was it Sigma Two was very soft, feeling, yes. right? And then the Hepler was a little firmer, and those yep. didn't even have an insert. It was more of just that that straight kind of uh, you know firm face on it. And then they went back a little softer with twenty twenty one. Yep. And now it seems like they're kind of trying to find the happy medium here when offering everything here with twenty twenty three. So, um, and then. You know, we we did notice those numbers in the testing. Very interesting finds. Um, granted, we it wasn't perfect because we didn't have um, you know putter head measurements uh, for speed there. But yep. we did see a little bit slight jump. It seemed like in the ball speed of the Tomcat there. Um, and then in terms of who's it for, Thomas. So obviously we have all the options here. Um, really anybody with any putting stroke can find something that they're looking for here. So who's it for? That's a, it's a great question. So a lot of it is going to come down to whether you're a slight arc, mm -hmm. strong arc, or a straight back, straight through type of putter. Um, so you've got your options there. It's a good starting point. Mm -hmm. um, but also a lot of it comes down to visual. Yeah. Um, there's golfers that still out there that, that like a center shafted putter. So you yeah. still have a center shafted model mm -hmm. in the DS72. Um, there's golfers that like more of a mallet, more of a blade look. Yep. There's also golfers that like the alignment Right. Um, so there's really a lot, you know, who, who's it for? It's going to be, a lot, a lot of it can be looks, but then you've got to talk about the playing performance. Mm -hmm. That's when I think weight is important to discuss. We've got right. a range here from 345 grams to 380 grams. Right. That's a big change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you also can change the size of the grip up a little bit too. Um, but, and once, keep in mind, once you go shorter or longer with the putter, it's going to also change the weight up as well. But it's going to come down to the player's you know, preference, but also their stroke type. Yep. And then talking to the golfer about, do you play on soft greens all the yep. time? Sorry, slow greens all the time. Do you play on fast greens all the time? Or do you play different golf courses all the time? Like, yeah. Is it, is I mean, it that, fast it, one day, is it slow the next right. day? That's, and then it's going to come, come down to consistency It's a interesting bit. how all of those variables do matter in your putter selection. And so, I mean, Ping has kind of given us the guideline of what stroke types fit into what putters. I mean. The, for example, if you have a slight arc, um, the Answer, Answer 2D, the Shea, the DS72, the uh, DS72 arm lock are all fits potentially for your putting stroke. Uh, for a strong arc, there's the Cushion 4 and the Prime Tine 4. Those are all designed for someone that really rotates that face. And then the rest of the models, such as the DS72C, the DS72, uh, the arm lock model, the Tyne G, the Mundy, and the Tomcat 14 are all designed for someone that kind of goes straight back, straight through. But like you mentioned, players' preferences on feel, on look, and you know really what they're looking for all will go into that decision as well. So it's all about kind of the fitter, uh, looking at your stroke, looking at the data from the Quintech, and kind of making a recommendation. And then you also, it's kind of that back and forth with the fitter. Yes, getting fit. That's probably the number one most important thing is mm -hmm. even if you fit into a strong arc putter, you don't like that model, you don't have to stay with strong arc. Mm -hmm. I would say you could still look at slight arc, but I would say if you fit into a strong arc and all of a sudden you want to go over straight, that's when I see the biggest change. So you can, you can live on the edge. I just think it's more important to live on the edge a little bit close rather than an extreme change up. Right, sure, sure. Well, golfers, um, you have the review from us here, a stamp of approval here from Second Swing, the Ping 2023 putters, a variety of models, face inserts, um, stroke types. Uh, if any type of golfer, any type of stroke type will find a putter in this series that fits their game. So schedule your fitting at Second Swing, uh, take advantage of our Quintech technology, and we'll get you set up with a putter that best suits your game. Thomas, thanks for joining today, giving the insight, doing some testing. Uh, really good line here from Ping.